We go on YouTube here today. Um, we're in the Triumph corner of my workshop. As you can see, we've got the um, Thunderbird Storm, the Thruxton, and a Scrambler over there in the background. My, my Ute, as I like to call it. Aaron Bike. Today, we're just going to um, run through how to change the pads in the um, two piston caliper here we're using SBS, the Scandinavian braking system pads they're called ceramic um, I don't know if it's just not know if it there's my silicone brake cleaner and portable toolbox already to go so we're just going to start by um, locating the pin you can't see from the bad light and there it is it's just a little cap at the bottom of the caliper there um, we have to take that off. You don't want to lock tight these on, otherwise you'll never get them off. They don't vibrate much on new bikes, and therefore yeah, you don't have to have them too tight. But you don't want to pull them off either. It's a five mil Allen mil Allen key to um, get that um, retaining pin out that holds your calipers in place. And uh, once we get that out of the way, we we can basically. Um, Used a um, cheetah bar or a, um, a 10 mil spanner to um, break that bolt. Was, yeah, was a bit tight in there. So usually after all the heat and that, as you can see, the um, the pads basically just fell out when the um, pin was withdrawn. I'm just checking to make sure the right pads before I open them. And um, yeah, there's the pin. Now you have to put the uh, first pad in first, as you can see it's closest to the pin otherwise you won't be able to get the other one in once the pin's in. And um, here's just the side shot of the um, caliper, you, you can put, slide it over to get the other pad in if it's a bit harder. It's a floating caliper so yeah, it's easy to um, sort of move around. And you've just got to Make sure the top of that pad, the top side of the pad's in first, otherwise you won't be able to line up the hole. And yeah, it's a quick job, just putting the, um, the box back in. Actually, some people put grease or whatever, I just use brake cleaner to clean the pins up with. And also clean up the um, pistons with the brake cleaner as best I could. Be able to get the rag in there once the caliper's on the bike, but you can still get rid of a um, fair bit of it with the um, brake cleaner it's not cheap but it helps all the moving parts in your brake system um, not wear out discs and that I'm just testing it on both sides of the disc to see they're pretty um, good and clean even the, um, the rivets you can use the brake cleaner on and um, yeah don't forget afterwards to um, pump the brake a few times before you get out on the road make sure you got brakes when you pull out your driveway, otherwise you might get cleaned up. And um, yeah, as you can see, the same goes for a Bonneville or a Scrambler, they're the same caliper. Just the um, Bonneville's got a slightly bigger disc, and caliper carriers a bit um, further out from the axle, I suppose. And yeah, thanks for watching um, this episode of Julian's Bike Garage. As you can see, I like my triumphs black and mean looking. Click subscribe for more.